Should you quit Warzone? Right now, it's pretty hard for the answer to be anything but, yeah, you should. It seems like everybody my team and I come across in Warzone these days are 100% sweat and at least as good as us and probably a lot better in most cases. Where are all the teams that are worse than us? I've taken a look at the average KDs for the lobbies that my team and I are in. Sometimes they're right at about our average KD, but most of the time, the average KD of the lobbies that we're in is, is way over our average team KD. It doesn't feel fair. A lot of times it's not fun. And I know a lot of you out there uh, are having the same experience. So it makes you wonder if you should quit Warzone. Is it worth all the frustration? Is it worth you know putting all that time into the game, trying to get better? And then the SBMM sticks you in lobbies, constantly sticks you in lobbies where you're getting stopped or you're getting, you're having a good game and you run into guys that are using wall hacks. They always know where you are somehow, some way. Uh, there's always that kind of stuff going on. And then sometimes you, sometimes you see aimbots. It's very frustrating. I've been playing Warzone since literally the day it came out. And yeah, I am a YouTube content creator uh, focused on Warzone. I'm not, you know, big famous creator, uh, but I'm definitely not the only one who's experiencing frustration with Warzone right now. Um, you know, check out these other YouTube content creators and they're all big. Check them out. They've made uh, YouTube videos just solely about their frustrations and experiences with Warzone lately. We got Tim the Tatman. We got Nick Merckx. We got Drifter. Uh, Iceman Isaac. Um, Tactical Brit. Uh, Expel and Jack Frakes. All these guys are making these videos um, uh, around the same, revolving around the same situation. It's hacking, it's cheating, it's just the generally bad experience happening in Warzone right now. So I've put a lot of thought into this, and here's what I think you need to consider. If you play Warzone casually and you just don't really care about winning or getting more kills, yeah, it's nice, but it's not your main goal. Your main goal is just to have fun. Warzone can definitely be a fun, exciting experience, and you should definitely keep playing. There is a bright future ahead for you in Warzone. If you're one of these players and and there's lots of fun to be had just keep in mind that that sometimes you're gonna end up in lobbies with really good players and then you'll probably get stomped don't let it bother you though because the SBMM will eventually dump you right back down into more suitable lobbies and and then just focus on having fun the whole time and so I think this is definitely the group where you need to keep playing because Warzone has a very long and bright future uh, Activision has stated that this is their flagship game, so they're going to be supporting it for years to come. If you're a player who has put tons and tons of time into Warzone, and you've gotten really good, and you decide to, to keep playing Warzone, you're in for a wild ride. As time goes by, more and more uh, players are going to begin to catch up to you and your skill level, and a lot of the really bad players are unfortunately going to drop out of the game. I think that's already happened. In, in large amounts. I think a lot large amounts of, of bad players, of the lower skill players, have just gotten fed up with it and have dropped out of the game. It's too bad uh, because they've probably gotten stuck too often in lobbies that are way beyond their skill level and that's just way too frustrating and that's SBMM for you and I think they've just quit. The players, the average players that are left are going to begin to catch up to your skill level and keep giving you more and more of a challenge. Um, so the game is going to keep getting harder for you, but you'll still get lobbies where you're better than 90% of the players in the lobby. Um, because there'll always be more average and bad players than really good players like you. So, you know, you'll have to work a little harder for your kills and wins, but you'll still get them. And you'll still have a lot of fun. So, you know, might as well go, on, go ahead and keep playing. Just please stay out of my lobbies. Now, if you're like me, and you're part of the massive average player base, and you want to play to win and get more kills and improve at the game, Warzone is, is really hard, unless you can put a ton of time into it to become one of those really good players that I talked about before. A lot of people can't do this. I can't do this. So I'll probably never be a player that can consistently go in and, and drop 20 bombs. It's probably just never going to happen for me because I don't have the time to dedicate to, to, the, to a video game that way. For average players around a 1KD, we're usually going to be placed in lobbies with some people who are worse than us, a lot of people who are about as good as we are, and probably a lot of players who are better than we are. It just seems that that it seems to be that that's how it works. Um, in my lobbies, I've seen that. Why does it do that? Why does SBMM do that? Who knows? Uh, we're the biggest part of the player base, and the SBMM seems to use us to kind of fill in the gaps in higher KD lobbies and give the really good players something new to shoot at. I don't know. Consequently, though, this means we're often the ones who suffer the most due to SBMM. 
So basically, for everyone in between the casuals and the really, really good players who have put a ton of time into the game, Warzone can just basically be a hard and frustrating experience. But, but just like I've gotten a lot better at the game, so can you. So there's nothing like getting a new PR for kills or, or your next hard-earned win in Warzone. There really is nothing like it. When you win in Warzone, you've beaten 150 other people, give or take. That is a great feeling and it's definitely something to celebrate. So if you want to have lots of fun and you can deal with frustration sometimes, Warzone might be the best game you've ever played and you should definitely keep going.